Pay attention, please. So we have x to the fourth minus 7x cubed minus 8x squared. Now, so far in this class, guys, all we have talked about doing is factoring. Jonathan, that's your first official one. All we've talked about so far is factoring when x is equal to 2, right? That's all we talked about. We only talked about factoring when we have something like this, right? We haven't discussed factoring any other higher powers. And if you guys looked at your homework or the work that I gave you, there's problems that looked like this, OK? So what we have to do is we have to identify what are some techniques then to allow us to factor it the way that we know how to do it. Because that's basically what math is, is rewriting, taking what you know and being able to apply it to a different problem. Yes? I would say factor out the greatest common factor. Well, that's absolutely first. The best first thing you're going to want to do is factor out the greatest common factor. And when we factor out the greatest common factor, a lot of times I like to look at it as just a box. So remember, when you're factoring, you're rewriting something as a product. So if I want to pick a side length for this box, should I pick the number 5? No. 5 times something gives you x to the fourth? No. I want to pick out the largest, the largest term that can be evenly divided into all these terms. So does anybody here want to give me a shot of one? Okay. Yeah, Mary, want to try? I was just going to say x. x. OK, x works. Is x the largest power? Um, x to the first power. Is that the largest power, though, that we can write for all of these? 2, right? x squared. Now let's test it. If this side length is x squared, x squared times what gives you x to the fourth? x squared. x squared. x squared times what gives you negative 7x cubed? Negative 7x. Very good. <laughs> and then x squared times what gives you negative 8x squared? Negative 8x. Be careful. 8x. Oh, negative Just negative 8. OK? So now, so now I've written this as x squared times x squared minus 7x minus 8. Uh, is this now factored? No. Yes, it's written as a product, right? Oh, but can we factor it further? Yeah. Yeah, we can factor this. And going from our previous answer problem, I can factor this now as x squared times x plus 1 times x minus 8. And then that is your final factored form. OK, yes? Negative 7x. This times this gives you that. This times that. It's right there. What are you talking about? Yeah, I factored this. This factored is right here. Yeah, I, look at This is the same equation, right? So I factored it. Yes, Erica. Uh, 